and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. Sometimes you just run out of ingredients, and sometimes you have ingredients that you wouldn't necessarily use for your recipe that you would like to make. Well, this is one of those times that I have odds and ends of this and that. So today, I'm going to make you an explosion of maple, peanut butter, coconut, and other goodies. All right, so stay with us, and after the break, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, thank you for subscribing, liking, clicking that bell, and sharing so you won't miss out. If you have any questions, go to our YouTube homepage and check the About section for details. For our merch store, click on the Store tab. You will find products for men, women, kids, and babies, accessories, stickers, and the list is growing. Also, the ingredients and directions for this recipe will be in the description below. All right, so let's do this. All right, so I have a hot skillet. And into the hot skillet, I am going to add a little bit better than two tablespoons of butter. Let's call it almost three. That's because I eyeballed it. <laughs> so, two heaping tablespoons. How's that? And we're going to add, we'll put the salt in so I don't forget it. It's just a pinch. We'll just add it right in there with the salt. And then now, to make these no bake cookies, we need to have some sweet. So, here's some light brown sugar. Okay, now I had set the skillet at 250 degrees, but I see that it's warm enough, so I'm going to turn it down to around 200, so it's kind of a medium-low, I guess. <laughs> and now this skillet is way huge, so you might have a smaller one, but I'll still be able to use it. I'll try to keep it in the center so I don't have so much scraping later on. <laughs> so, all right. Now we have maple syrup and it's homemade and my maple syrup has some cornstarch in it. So if you don't have maple, if, and this is uh, made with sucralose, so it doesn't have sugar sugars. So you can uh, make your own maple syrup or get a non-sweet uh, syrup or perhaps just if you're not uh, having a hard time with sugar in your body. Just use plain sugar and add the maple to it. I will put down everything, and everything's going to be in the description so you can look and see what we've done. All right, now I am going to add some peanut butter. Now I'm making a half a batch. It would normally make, if you were making them into cookies, it would probably be four dozen. And so if you still want to make them into cookies, little drop cookies, uh, then it'll come to about two dozen. But I'd like to go ahead and put it into a, my little square dish, it's buttered. And uh, I want to make little squares for you. So we're melting down. Now everything it's going to go in here one at a time and stirring very nicely to blend it. And it's on low so it won't burn. Because if you've ever burned peanut butter, <laughs> you'll know what I'm saying. All right, now we're going to add some canned milk. You can use cream, you can use a plant milk, you can use a 
uh, dairy milk, animal forms, whatever you eat, whatever you cook with. So, no problem if you alternate with this recipe. All right, now, it is thick. So I am going to turn the heat off right now. And I am going to add, I want to put my coconut in first. Coconut tends to be like a flour. It'll thicken things up really fast. So I add it first because it does. It'll see, you can see it starting to thicken up already. Takes up a lot of space in that liquid. Okay. The next thing, I want to add flax, and this flax is come from seeds. I use the brown seeds, and then I just mill them in my coffee grinder. And uh, I don't mill them all up at once, I only grind what I need for the moment. Usually a half cup will fill a coffee, standard coffee grinder, and uh, then I keep it in the refrigerator if I don't use it all. But then I keep, so I buy it by the big uh, plastic jar that comes in uh, through uh, the mail. I shop online and uh, there's several places that you can find it. Just type it in and see who comes up. All right, and let's see. Now we're gonna add some oats. Now, if this gets thick on me, I'm going to be adding some water. And the reason why I use the canned milk, so that if I do need to use the water, it will just be regular whole milk. So, uh, no problem. So, it is just a touch thick, and so I will do that. I'll put in a tablespoon at a time. That's about a tablespoon, kind of eyeball it. And so you just don't want your to set up yet. It'll set up as it cools, but while you're stirring, you want to keep it loose. And because I turned off the heat, you don't have to worry about counting to a minute, two minutes, uh, whatever. So you can see it's still nice and loose. All right, now this here, I'm going to be melting. It is chocolate chips, and it has one and a half teaspoons of shortening. I run out of lard, can you imagine? So instead of oil or lard, I put in the shortening. It's a butter flavored type shortening. And I'm gonna, don't add water, don't add butter butter. <laughs> and uh, it'll uh, be the topping over this so all right now i happen to have some trail mix type add some little m ms in there and almonds and raisins might be a cashew here and there some peanuts so i want to use up what i have here and uh just make things out of it instead of going to the store so there you go now that's good, and it's all in there except for our topping. So, I'll put all this. Oh, one more thing. Ooh, I almost left it out, and that'll help out vanilla. And how I remembered is because I have a magic cameraman that points to me. His name is Christopher. You probably saw him on the very first show <laughs> on a taste test. <laughs> he's shy, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still trying to get him over here to make us a cooking show, and uh, I think that's going to happen in season two. So just bear with us. He uh, puts his mother up to all this. So <laughs> All right, so... Here we go. We have our, let's put this over here out of our way. Bring our buttered 
and you can, like I said, if you want to make them into little cookies, like a no-bake cookie, uh, you can do that, or you can just use, since this is a half batch, I'm using the small. I think it's a nine by nine pan. I'll have to measure that out. All right, so before this sets up, I'm gonna try to get it over here. And because that maple syrup that I had made had corn syrup in there, it works. Um, you really do need the corn syrup. It, uh, It'll keep the, the candy, it's kind of a candy cookie to me, because you can see what I put in it. Uh, but it'll keep, keep it from turning into sugar once it cools. Now, if you've ever eaten into a piece of fudge or something, uh, you didn't, you know, you got a crystal or something in there and it turned into sugar. It has that gritty affair. Well, that's what I'm trying to not, do here. So anyway, you can see that I've got it in there and we'll just kind of pack it a little bit. I want to really kind of pack it a lot, I guess, because when I go to cut it, I want those squares to come out nice. And if you don't pack them, they might crumble on you. So, so anyway, get that in there. I'm going to be putting this into the refrigerator to set for probably about an hour. And I want it nice and cold because I will be putting that chocolate mixture, cocoa, uh, chocolate chip, and we'll drizzle over the top and then it goes back in and it'll chill that and then we'll cut and we'll have a taste test. So this is it. That's what was easy. Just have a skillet ready and put everything in one by one. And All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, we're back. The hour is up. It's nice and chilled. And I have put the half cup, and if you're making a full batch, it'll be one cup of chocolate chips with the shortening that I had. And uh, Christopher said, Mom, you have lard. I said, where? And he told me it was on the pantry shelf. Let's see, if I don't make my own, I usually buy it by a little block. And this time, this was on sale, and we bought the whole tub. It's been in there, and it hasn't been opened yet, so now I have it. But since I've already committed myself to the shortening, we'll keep that. Okay, and just keep stirring until you don't want to keep reheating it, so it will melt. And, uh, it's all right if there's a little chunk, so I'm just going to leave those little chunks on there. I think it's nice. Just kind of it over the top or drizzle it or I was going to drizzle it but it looks too heavy to do that. So just have fun. Anyway, if you want more chips, just add more chips. I thought this would be enough for us and I wish I could share you. I'll try to give you a virtual piece in the comment section. <laughs> Just imagine when I'm taking a taste, I'm taking that taste for you. So if it doesn't really, uh, I don't, I don't want to put it out there. If it, if I don't think my palate's gonna work with it, uh, so that's why I do that taste test. I mean, everybody wants to know what it looks like, with you know how it ends and everything. True, but also for me, the taste test means that it is approved to put out there for you. So there you go. So since it is cold, it shouldn't take long. I'll put it back in the freezer for about five minutes, 10, five to 10 minutes, and we'll be back and we'll have that taste test. See you in a moment. 
All right, welcome back. Well, it is time for the delicious taste test to make sure this recipe is going to be good. So, I'm going to take me a bite. Oh, it's still a little soft and firm on the top. I made me an oatmeal peanut butter bar. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a candy bar. Well, try it. Four times four, 16. Come up to 16 little bites. And you can make them bigger if you like. But these are very powerful, very sweet. If you're going to give them to the kitties, make sure it's early before dinner so they can run around and then you can rest in the evening. All right. Mm. Get every little bit. Well, thank you for watching and supporting our channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, and clicking that bell. It will help us get more videos out to you, including our free recipes. So, just go right on over to our website, redcardinalkitchen.com, and you can get all those free recipes we upload to YouTube. So, for every step of the way, happy eating, and God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>